Go. Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies. I decided that for this... <coughs> I decided that for this mode, that I would probably be doing it in... post... doing it, I don't know. This is me in the future. But basically, I'm bad at this minigame. Basically. Especially at this part in me playing this mode, because I use two dancing zombies, which is a really bad idea, because it uses up so much sun. I mean, it's good for the combination of things that it's going up against, but I'd, I'd recommend trying to find a different way to take stuff out than just using the dancing zombies. It, it, it's a really fine balance of trying to just not use expensive things, but also still finish the level. Trying to get that extra bit of sun at the top there because I missed it. it. Although I probably wasted a bit of sun trying to get it, so. Might not have been that worth it. Now we're up to a streak of five. Oh boy, this is an interesting one. But, um... We probably need to take out the split peas. And then try to get to the back with a digger zombie. A lot of the zombies cost 125, so you have to use that to your advantage. You can also just, like, skip some plants and not take them out, which is probably the more recommended way to go than trying to take out every plant. If you can figure out what, what zombies are going to be able to just take out everything without being defeated, it's good. But it's tricky to figure out what that is. I just recommend never using the dancing zombies though. Wasting a bit of sun here, but that's okay. I'm, I know that this run isn't going to make it all the way. I had a lot of trouble with this mode. A lot of trouble. So much trouble that I was basically breaking down in tears, basically. Not really, but basically. I was losing my mind. Because it's just so difficult to get the right combination of things. And you just can't use the expensive stuff, so it makes it really even more frustrating, basically. Going up against the, uh, the, the snow piece is difficult with trying to use regular zombies because you don't know what's going to be strong enough to actually get to them eventually because they have to be slowed down by the, the, the snow piece and then take them out and still survive, so. It's, it's a very fine balance of things. There's so many things to keep in mind. And when there are extra things, it's really crazy. Also, there was one round in, I think, the final run of this that I had that I just had the the skatey shrooms and, like, regular puff shrooms and... But the rest were all sunflowers. And that gave me a, a boost, basically, to my sun. Because everything else was just no problem. Also, this is a weird setup. That's a lot of, uh, magnet shrooms. And fume shrooms, which are gonna make everything else difficult. Don't do dancing zombie. Please don't. You'll be defeated by the pu the fume shrooms. I can try to disable the magnet shrooms though by using pole vaulting zombies maybe. I don't know if that's the greatest strategy, but it's something. And I can't really use the buckethead zombies because their bucket will be taken away. And then I'll be just paying a lot more than I need for a zombie. <laughs> That is just not worth it, basically. Because it has to be less impressive than a conehead zombie, which means that we'd basically be turning a 125 sun zombie into a 50 sun zombie, which is just not good. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Ah, you forgot. I forgot what how things do there, apparently. Also, the fume, the fume shrooms make things difficult because they just hit everything.
just everything. Gonna try another regular attack. It's really tricky to figure out what a good strategy for this level is because Conehead Zombies are basically the only thing that I can use. And they'll still be taken out pretty easily, so. I think if you double up zombies though, it will make them better because they'll they'll eat faster, but they'll it's still not gonna work out great because they have to still walk all the way to the things that they have to eat. And the fume shrooms are just too powerful. But it's fine. Running out of sun again, slowly. But if this uh, pole vaulting zombie can take out that fume shroom at the top, then it's gonna reach the brain, so it doesn't need to worry about the other one. Just like that. Also, we can probably use something else now. But I'm debating what to use, apparently. Which I should probably just use a buckethead zombie. Nope, that's not the one that I just said. You can be a little bit okay with using up uh, sun, but you, but it depends on what you're using it for because you have to keep in mind that some things aren't going to get to the brain. So the bungee zombie and the digger zombie aren't going to reach the brain. Which means that the buckethead zombie is optimal, basically, for doing that. And the, what's it called, the ladder zombie is probably going to just die at some point, to be honest. So the buckethead zombie is actually a lot better than it looks, basically. It's quite a useful thing to just have. Going to wait for the bubbles to go away, and then have this thing run and try to take out the brain. Because it can eat the fume shroom if it makes it there, so. Which it will, so. And then the rest is just, just easy. Made it to a streak of seven. And this is where I lose my mind completely every time. Because it's got the three Peter and it's got the... Magnet Shroom, and it's got the Split Peas, and it's got the Spike Root Weed, it's got, it's got so many things that just make me lose my mind. The, uh, even the Snow Peas and, uh, what are they call, called? The Corn, I don't know what they're called anymore apparently. They just ruin everything because they completely stop any zombie charging towards them. Which makes it, again, difficult to figure out how to take stuff out. But possibly using a digger zombie would be the way to do that. If we ta have taken out any other problems with that. But also the, the three Peter will just hit things that you're not expecting it to hit. Is my problem with that. Because if I like put that thing there and it gets taken out by the three Peter. And I think that Buckhead Zombie at the bottom is going to get taken out because of the corn. I can't remember what it's called. I don't know why. I should have every plant name in, like, burned into my brain at this point. No, the Buckhead Zombie made it, but the other one didn't, so I'm going to have to do something about that. And since it's split peas, I probably shouldn't use a pole vaulting zombie. Just you're gonna use another buckhead zombie by the looks of it. And also the uh, other thing died. The other pole vaulting zombie didn't make it. So let's do a buckethead zombie and another pole vaulter and hopefully that's gonna be good enough. Hopefully. And I definitely shouldn't have done that. We're, I'm about to run out of sun. Like I actually I'm about to run out of sun. I have to spend 50 sun to get the last brain and then that's it for this round, basically. Have to restart and get all the way back to there, which takes a while because I'm bad at this minigame. And there we go. Made it to a streak of eight, but that's it. 
The amount of times I got so close to 8, but not quite. And the amount of times I restarted on level 1. But I made it to this part with 3,000 suns, so I think I'm gonna be alright. This is, this is the one where I had the... The boost to my sun. By getting the... Scaredy Shrooms. But also, I just never used the expensive stuff, which I did every other time, so... But now I'm actually- I'm, I'm actually taking time to figure out stuff. There's also a star fruit there. And several other things, like the squash and... There's chompers and there's a... What's it called? I can't remember what it's called, but a potato mine. So there's just a whole bunch of stuff that I have to figure out how to get rid of. I think I'm just getting that sun there because it's right up, up against the line. I can get that for free, basically. Kind of. It's just helpful to have the extra sun. But I think I'm gonna try... ...getting past this thing by having a distraction... ...to block all of the slowing attacks. Nope, that didn't work. But if I can get that pole vault across, it means we can take out the... ...magnet shroom. Maybe. Come on, I believe. I mean, it has to. I'm pretty sure it has to. There we go. Now we can take out that, lo that that lane pretty well. But it also means we can use a few other things now. But I probably want to take out the staff root and the... What's it called? As soon as possible. Don't use the dancing zombie. Ah, uh, the staff root and the... I wasn't expecting that, okay. Ah, uh, the three Peter. So we can take that out, I guess. Maybe? No? Okay. The problem is getting there is gonna be interesting because there's a squash and a... ...potato mine. And I can't get around it... ...to take, take it out then. So we're actually going to have to sacrifice a few things to get that. I'm just putting the um, ladder there so, so I can basically skip that thing there with any zombie that I want. Don't use the dancing zombie. It's a waste of sun. I think I should do pole vaulter zombie because that way I can jump over... Okay, that's not quite what I was expecting. Also, the, they're probably going to be overlapping. And then they're going to both get taken out by the squash. Yep, like that. But now we're in a pretty good position to just take out that three Peter, so... Hopefully. Oh boy. Survive. Survive. I'm going to use a digger zombie to take out the stuff over there. Maybe. The star fruit is still a problem, so... And we can't use a... A digger to go get that because... Of the split pea. So we're just gonna take it out using this bungee zombie. And now we are set, basically, to complete this le level. Just need to send in some stronger zombies. So they won't get taken out. We should just be done. Double cones on me. Okay, they'll eat faster. If they can get past the fume shroom, they should be fine because they have plenty of health. Because basically they're a super zombie when they're stacked up like that. It's looking pretty good. They just have to walk over that one patch of spikeweed, which they can because they can walk over several patches of spikeweed. Also, have to stand on it, I guess, but still. Current streak, 9. And we have 2,000 sun, so we should be alright. Okay, this combination of things again. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um... I think I'm gonna have to use a pole vaulter zombie. There, yeah, that's what I was thinking. 
gonna double up to make sure that they have enough health. You really have to be patient to just wait and find out what happens. But also you have to be ready to move to the next thing. Okay, so let's use a digger zombie to take out that three Peter. I think I'm trying to figure out how to do the top row. Possibly. Or maybe the middle row. Okay. Because there's a... A potential miner that there, I can just take that out. With this conehead zombie, I'm pretty sure. The streak nine, so we could probably use... The dancing zombies, I guess. I think? Is that right? Is this the last level that we need to actually get the streak for? I can't remember. But if so, that means I can definitely do that. Just need to take out the tough stuff like this magnet. Sh no, the thing. Yeah, so let's use a dancing zombie there and there. And just go all out because we're at this is the last level that we need to do. And we've basically won at this point, so... Just like that. Just need to wait for it to do its thing now. But the dancing zombies, this is the only time I really used dancing zombies was the last level. And also after that because I was just using up points because I had to just go for it. I was so done after reaching the end of this, so. The only problem that I can see here with the dancing zombies is the spike weed, which I'm conveniently walking over at an unopportune time. So we almost lost the upper dancing zombie, but he survived, so. Have to bring up that money since we're going to need it. And there we go. That is the eye zombie endless. Getting to a streak of 10. Better off dead. I agree. <laughs> Basically. But now I'm just going to go all out with the stuff that I use since I don't really care anymore. <laughs> just going to use up expensive stuff when I sh really shouldn't. I think I make it through this level at least, but again, I wasted so much sun. Yep, made it that far, but also on this, the second part of this, almost getting to 12, almost getting to 12, pretty sure we lose on this one, possibly? Because I think... I can't remember if I actually made it to 12 if I didn't make it all the way. I think I didn't make it because of the split pea. I didn't have any more sun, so... Because I just used it all up. But anyway... That's the end of Eyes on Me for now. <laughs> Not coming back to that. So let's switch over to Last Stand because I can cut things around like that and be completely fine. And keep, keep the talking happening at the same time. It's crazy. But anyway... I decided to go with repeaters and the upgrade to them, which I didn't do it as well as I could have because I think I should have just put in as many repeaters as part of possible and then maybe, maybe had some extra whatever the upgrade is to them. Because all you really need is the three Peters and uh, Torchwood. A few other things help, of course, but still. We were pretty set in the first round. So what I'd recommend is actually doing three columns of... ...repeaters. And not doing the upgrade like that. Because it uses more sun. And I would have had more sun if I didn't do that. In the first round. And then Torchwood after that. 
but those first three columns should have been all repeaters. And I ran out of sun at this point because of not using my resources well. But I still made it through, so it's all fine. I decided not to actually use the repeater though at that point because I wanted to save my sun a little bit. So I'm using a uh, staff root instead. Two staff root. It's crazy. So there we go. This is basically what the whole thing looks like, except I'm also having to repair and upgrade a few things along the way, which I might not have to if I didn't upgrade the repeaters straight away. Possibly. It's a very good mode, I think, just getting the extra sun at the end of each round. I kind of like that idea. So. And I think there is an endless mode of this on other versions of the game, but not this one, so. Activating some of the things. Some of the codes. Have to do a bit more of that in the most recent video that I have, have yet to record. But I have a few things I want to do before I get to that video, so. Oh hey, a gift for my Zen Garden. That'll be helpful. It really will. Okay, here comes the wave of zombies. Which should be taken out pretty alright. They only make it a few squares down my lawn. But there's our sun. So we have a little bit now, but only 250, so we can only place in one repeater, so let's do that. Please. Just do it! There we go. So now that's going to be extra strong. Because I think the pool might have a few problems with it being weaker than the rest of the places. The staff route is an interesting strategy because you can only really do one column of it near the front. Otherwise it's not really worth it. And it's not going to be as strong as the fireballs, so... There's a football zombie, let's see how far he makes it. Pretty far. But still not far enough. It's such a satisfying thing seeing all of these fireballs just taking out everything. Just having the zombies only make it three squares forward. So good. They generally only make it three squares forward, but it depends on what mode you're playing and how well you do it, so. And also how well set up you are at that point in time. Because they can they can do they can get further than that in the beginning of the level, so. Just a regular level. There's just so much raw power from these repeaters and torchwood. But also keep in mind that I would have if I didn't upgrade all of the repeaters and didn't use the staff root, I would have probably enough sun to actually just have those three columns of repeaters, which would be more, technically, more for less. And then I could upgrade them and then they'll be a lot better, so. I wouldn't have to, had to waste a bit of sun. Because anything that I've already placed in now, I can't really remove without losing that sun. And we get some extra sun from each round as well. Which means that you can upgrade then. There are some really difficult modes in this game. You just have to repair everything all the time. Also that zombie was making a fair way forward. But it's fine. This is what we've prepared for, except that if there's multiple zombies at once, that we might be in trouble. Because they'll have extra health, basically, by not being taken out. Or not being hit, 
until they reach a certain point. Also, the dolphin zombies, which is going to be interesting, because they can jump over things, but they'll also probably not make it there <laughs> because of the fireballs, as long as they don't have enough, like, if, unless they have stuff in front of them taking all the hits, but even then, the things in front of them probably won't last very long either. Let's put in another thing, please. 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 <laughs> please. Do it. Yes, that one. That one's cheaper than the other one. It's going to be more effective overall. Okay, never mind. Saving my extra sun for something else later on. I really should have put in the, the repeaters more because it, it just costs less sun so I can put in more. I was actually thinking while recording this that I should redo it. Like, I thought that wasn't going to make it. I'd have to redo part of it. And I'd be able to do the strategy better, but I actually made it to the end, so... Obviously, my strategy was fine as it was. Didn't need to worry about wasting sun or anything. But I would still like to do it better, so... Those double football zombies... Oh, double football zombies again? Will they make it? I don't think so, because they're... Still breaking down at the same levels. And... Just a bit of extra protection. Which wasn't necessary, but still. I, I panicked. It's fine. Huge wave for zombies. Interestingly, amount... Like, interestingly strong ones in the pool. Also, the, the dual zombies are interesting because they just have so much extra hit points. Before they actually get taken out. I think it's fine using the fireballs against them, so... Even though there are other things that could be effective against them. Interesting choice from me. Past me, but still. It's still going to increase the power output and use less sun if I than if I just upgraded what was already there, so. Another plant for the Zen Garden. I've only got a few extra plants for the Zen Garden. A lot of it is just the daisies. Or marigolds, that's the one. Marigolds. Daisies is the ones on the ground. You know, like like every other plant. Apparently I had to pause and come back or something like that. Something broke, but it's fine. I thought that the video just stopped playing for some reason, but it's fine. I'm leaving it in. Sometimes I just have to cut away and cut back. Just, stuff happens all the time. Sometimes it's just the recording, like some, something breaking. It's usually Audacity that's breaking, but that's on a, that's a different thing. To what should be happening right now, but. I guess it was something else that I had to go do. Get the get the coins, 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 get the coins. Okay, never mind. But that is the end of Last Stand. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.